Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Public Cloud Design Tips and Tricks. In this channel, we generally discuss about public cloud design problem statements and their related solutions. Today, we are going to discuss about Azure networking for OpenAI service. So, the problem statement is how to enable network security with Azure OpenAI services. If you look into this diagram, then generally Azure OpenAI services is a kind of task service which is sitting in Azure public environment. And when you are a private organization and you want to interact with this task services which is sitting in Azure public environment from your private network, that means here you are from the virtual network or from your subnet, you want to interact with this OpenAI service, how can you make the interaction much more secure? Also, as it is Azure public service, how can you restrict the interaction of this PaaS service from internet? So we are going to discuss about all the solution which has been provided by Microsoft Azure for this. The first solution which has been provided by Microsoft Azure is uh, OpenAI is having its filter or firewall rules, which is inbuilt firewall rules or filters where you can restrict the source IP from where you want to connect to this OpenAI services. You can enable service endpoint, that means you can also define from which subnet or from which virtual networks you, the, the service endpoint request is generating from. And also you can maximize the security or your network security by enabling private link endpoints. We will try to cover all of them. So the first one, let us try to understand the OpenAI services with specified IP. So if you can see here, if you open the uh, OpenAI services networking section and you click on this firewall and virtual network section, then here you can select which are all source IPs that you want to connect to. So by, do, by adding the source IPs, that means the public IP of, or, of your environment or, or your private network, in that case you can define from which IP these networks can be reachable or this service can be reachable. Second. If you want to add networks, that means from which virtual network or from which subnet you want to reach this public, uh, this pass service, then that also you can add it. So if you select the selected networks and private endpoints here, you can define, you can add from which virtual network that you want to reach these services. Here you can see Contos of 01 Vnet is the virtual network from where you want to make the request to be available for this OpenAI services. Rest of the request will not be able to reach this service. And then you want to allow uh, all the networks that means everyone can reach this OpenAI services. In that case, you can select allow all networks. That means everybody can connect to this OpenAI services. There will be no more res restrictions. Then if you are thinking about service endpoint, uh, with service endpoints, when you are enabling the service endpoints, it routes the traffic from the virtual network through an optimal path to Azure AI services. That means if you are using uh, OpenAI service endpoint, the path will be much more optimal. But the challenge is like, you know, the request will be going through the Microsoft backbone network. That means from private to public, it will, the, the route will never be private only. It will go by the public network, which is by the Microsoft backbone network. And the allowed subnets might belong to the virtual network in the same subscription or also it can be in the different subscription that is also possible and the other subscription can belong to also a different Azure AD tenant as well that means if you have two tenant in one tenant you want to have your private network uh, or virtual network from there you want to connect to the OpenAI service which is in other tenant there also you can restrict that uh, uh, you know uh, the, that subnet from the OpenAI uh, service uh, firewall so that is also possible. Now the maximum security or secure network is the private link endpoint which is uh, uh, which is getting depicted here. So you are having your virtual network from your virtual network when you are connecting to OpenAI services via the private link endpoint the traffic will be completely in your private network. You can see the IP is getting generated from the subnet where this uh, uh, PLE has been installed and from there the network connectivity to the OpenAI is completely private. You can restrict the internet connectivity. That means internet cannot be uh, internet cannot access these OpenAI services. Only your private network can access this. Uh, I have gathered this information from this link. Uh, so please follow this link, and you can you can find more information about it. Uh, and then uh, few, a few key points when you are using private link endpoints. 
private endpoints for azure ai services resource uh, uh, can let you secure your azure ai services resources by configuring the firewall to block all the connection on the public endpoint for the azure ai services it increases security for the virtual network by enabling you to block uh, X filtering of data for the virtual networks. Also, it securely connect to Azure AI services resource from on-premise network. That means if you have a hybrid environment where you want to connect to this Azure Open AI service from your on-premise, then you can connect it via the pri private link endpoint with the help of uh, uh, Azure VPN gateway or Express route with private peering. So these are all key points when you are using private link endpoint with Open AI. Uh, I have gathered all this information by following these links. Uh, please follow these links. Microsoft has defined a lot more about uh, network security with respect to OpenAI services. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, thank you.